information is dangerous. If you can keep knowledge out of the hands of your political opponents, um, that's an effective win. It's a very effective political strategy. It's one that we think of as being part of the dark ages, right? You burn scientists like Galileo at the stake and we think, oh, we don't do that anymore because now it's you know data and it's computers. The ways that um, climate data are vulnerable and environmental data are vulnerable are multiple and there are uh, conditions um, that you might even say create a perfect storm. One of the early signs was Inauguration Day. The new WhiteHouse.gov page, so the People's website, there was no mention of climate change. Now that doesn't mean that the Obama pages were deleted, but it means that there's no mention that it's a huge national security threat or a public health problem. It's just gone. In many, many ways, we think like, oh, this is all automated and it's data, but actually humans have to make the data and they have to tend the data and grow the data and also make sure that it's publicly accessible. If those people aren't there anymore, if they're not being paid, that data also goes away in that slow starvation of things just not being maintained anymore. If you cut an agency by two-thirds of its staff, as we have heard may or may not happen at EPA, that work of that agency cannot happen. For a long time within the libraries community, there's been an understanding that we as a country need to do a better job at archiving federal data. On state levels, we see it too. Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources took off an enormous amount of material about climate change designed for school teachers in the state of Wisconsin to be able to educate about what climate change meant in Wisconsin. I think, you know, that there is every reason to think that China will become the leader of climate change research. They are putting a ton of money toward this. The scientific and research communities really understand that climate change is real. The fact that we now have to return to a time when we are arguing that climate change is real, we still have to do that. What a waste of time. <laughs>